The levee it is breaking, it's gonna flood the town. It's men against Mother Nature, and we're fighting on your ground. The rain it is tapping upon my window frame, calling me. All right, so on today's vlog, I show you the step-by-step -step of this haircut. We got a woman's faux hawk. You guys have been asking for this quite a bit. So we use the Donald Scott carving comb to create a ton of texture in the sides. And then we use our Mizutani scissors to texturize the top. A lot of cool techniques built into this haircut. So I know you guys are gonna like it. Let me know in the comments below what you think, what you wanna see next. And let's try this. If you guys see a haircut on Instagram or Twitter or anything, uh, just tag me at Free Salon Education and uh, so that I can see what cuts you're looking to learn. So let's get started with the step-by-step -step. here we go thanks for watching all right guys so we're going to start this haircut by dividing the head in half so basically what i do is i take from the high point of the head and i drop a line down to behind the ear and then to create the rest of my sections i draw a line along the parietal ridge and then down diagonal back across the back what i'm doing is creating a line basically following the curve of the head so I section off the, the first panel, which is a square right on top of the head, um, back to the high point, and then the other uh, square section or rectangle section in the back goes from the high point down to um, low crown. So now I'm gonna draw a vertical line down the back that starts off my sectioning, and then I, uh, I work diagonal forward with my Donald Scott carving comb. Now this is the carving comb fine. The reason I'm working with carving comb fine and the difference is it has fine teeth on the comb. So this I could definitely work with a more precision feel um, with this part of the haircut. So I'm going through 100% cut side. There's a 50% carved side which will cut out 50% of the hair. And then there's a 100% side uh, of the carving comb as well. I'm using the 100% side to get to cut 100% of the hair. I want to go through and cut a pretty precise line through the um, sides. Now you can see that I start off working diagonal forward and then it moves to more of a, a vertical section towards the top. So just working through there, uh, building up a little bit of weight towards the top of that section, towards the top of my fingers, and then um, taking it a little bit tighter towards the hairline. Now I go through and I just pinch cut, so just right, right around the ear, I wanna remove some of that hair, some of the weight, um, and just detail it a little bit while it's still wet. Doing the same thing on the opposite side, difference is my finger is now down. Um, I did have somebody yesterday who's a lefty, so if you're a lefty, just mirror exactly what I'm doing. So right now you would have your fingers pointing up and you would have had your fingers pointing down on the opposite side. The reason we do this, um, because I don't assume everybody's watched every video, is um, so that we're always combing that new hair. So right now I take a parting, I comb the new hair into my guideline, and uh, you never want to move your guide out from where it lives. So if you move your guide, you stretch it, it becomes longer or shorter, and uh, what's going to happen is you're your haircut's going to get longer on one side. So just make sure that you're consistent with your combing and uh, pushing that guide or pushing that new hair into the guide. So a little more pinch cutting, still using that 100% carve side. This is my new uh, thing that I'm doing is, is blow drying half the haircut. Um, what I want to do with this part is I want to texturize the bottom and I want to check out make sure that the length is right before I move on to the top. So I'm working the blow dryer in kind of a flat wrap uh, way. So around the head, working the hair back and forth. I don't want there to be any calyx in the hair. Um, so that's, you know, my goal there. Now I'm using the carving comb wide. Again, the cutting part of the carving comb is all the same. The difference is the comb part. So this has wide teeth. Um, I always think it's good to have both, to be honest, because you're gonna use both. So this is a technique where I go in, I just scoop up the hair in my hand, and I run the carving comb back and forth. The cool thing about the carving comb is it cuts on both sides, so you could do this cool little uh, point cutting texturizing technique um, anywhere you want in the head, on the top, on the sides, uh, in any type of haircut. Um, that's how we point cut with the carving comb. So I'm going through, uh, over directing everything straight back, um, this is vertical sections now coming straight back to me creating that square back feel um, more of even layers in the back 
And you can see that I'm using pretty big strokes with the carving comb at that point. What that's going to do is give me those highs and lows throughout the crown area, which will give me that pop um, for the faux hawk feel. Now we're cutting short to long. I'm using my guideline. This is going to be blended. Um, that's the difference between a faux hawk and undercut um, to me. I'm not necessarily saying that that is the definition, but for me, um, not having it as disconnected on the top um, creates that kind of faux feel. Uh, when it is disconnected, that's more of a mohawk feel to me. So uh, we're just connecting it through. I'm using my DB20 scissor from Mizutani. Um, I, I like going in with a scissor on the top. You could use the carving comb, but for me, using a razor on top, just it's not that comfortable. Um, and so I, I want to go in with my scissor just to have that comfort. But I am using point cutting, so I get more of a razored effect on the top of the hair. So I talked about the different tools that I've used. So I use the carving comb fine at the beginning, carving comb wide at, towards the uh, later in the haircut. Um, the reason I like using both tools is the both combs are a little bit different. The great thing about the carving comb, it's only like 35 bucks on uh, our website, freesaloneducation.com. So for 35 bucks, for 70 bucks, your investment is getting both of those. And I think it's uh, definitely, they're two very cool tools to have in your kit. Now we're using the uh, Ergo blow dryer. This is the Paul Mitchell 413 brush. Just going through and just adding a little bit of volume to the haircut. And then I go through with my scissor and I detail the edges. Uh, still using point cutting because I'm trying to build in texture. Anytime you want texture, a point cut's going to work a lot better because obviously you're not building those straight blunt lines. Um, now I went in Bricado Carve to style it up. It's a texture wax. Um, has a very cream feel. Pretty good hold, but it's not super firm. So I'll go in with my maximum hold hairspray once I get the hair where I want it to finish off the, the entire look. Hope you guys enjoyed today's look. Hope you can use it in the salon. Thank you guys so much for watching. All right, guys, like always, if you liked this haircut, then hit the like button, hit the share button, share this video with all of your friends. I appreciate all of that. Also, don't forget about our mainstream contest. Download the mainstream app, which is an app for doing services on demand for hairstylists. So check it out, mainstream, M-A-N-E. S-T-R-E-E-M. You can see the link in uh, the description below. Click on that, download the app, check it out, and uh, join our contest. We're giving out $200 to the first five people that do the most services by May 30th. So check it out, the link is below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video. A drop, a down.